Hello, welcome to this Matt Pro 5 screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about installing WordPress. Okay, it's really easy. The first thing I want to do is add a host, press the plus button down here. I'm going to call this uh, WP host. Need a document root for that host. Uh, let's call it uh, WP host as well, the document root folder. And click choose. So what I can do here is just click install WordPress, press continue. This right here is my WordPress admin user. So I'm going to give it a simple name of admin. You might want to have a different name than that. And a password of admin123 as my um, admin password. And this is the admin name and password when you log into the admin section of your WordPress website. I will show you that in a second after I've installed um, the WordPress site. Here is a database name. Uh, this will be added to the MySQL database. And uh, a database user and password uh, will be added as well. This is different than the default root database user with its default root password. So you can um, just as well put root and root here, but I'm going to leave it as a new database user and a, with a different password. So all you, do is, all you have to do is create the host, should download, and once that is done, you have to restart your servers. And after restarting servers, the site should show up a basic WordPress host. Okay, so now the, the WordPress host has been installed. I just wanna go over a few details of um, uh, how the WordPress host was installed. If you go here to uh, down here and press this gear uh, icon, you can see this is where I typed in admin as my WordPress username and admin123 I made as my password. So those are those two fields that you filled in earlier. And as you can see, that is how I can um, log into my uh, WordPress site. If I um, go up here to my uh, web start and down to PHP my admin, you can see that in, under the database section, a WP, WP host uh, database was added to the databases. Under user accounts, you'll see the WP uh, host is the uh, owner of this WP uh, host database. So that's where the a database user was added. Of course, that wasn't needed. You could have just done this under the root username. Um, that's uh, optional. If you want to do that, you can do that. Uh, and one last thing uh, about the details of your WordPress installation. If you go to the editor right here, you can see this, the WP config here has uh, a lot of your installation settings here, DB name, DB user, DB password, are all um, here and these were all automatically filled in when your um, automatic uh, installation of WordPress was completed. You can uh, make a WordPress as, uh, SSL enabled uh, automatically as well. I am going to do that right now. Um, I'm just going to call this host WP uh, SSL and WPSSL as document root folder name and we want to install WordPress and we want to generate certificate for HTTPS access so if you do that it's the same thing here admin uh, fill out your admin username and password and then create the host and that should download and install a automatically an SSL WordPress site I have to restart my servers And it should be an SSL. Oh, yeah, of course, I have to go through this. Uh, uh, of course, this is a SSL certificate made by MAMP. It's not recognized by our browser. So um, I just have to confirm 
with uh, Safari that it's okay to view this website, which is fine. I just, I created it so I know it's okay. And here it is a SSL uh, website. Um, you will notice here on the SSL tab, these uh, MAMP certificates were automatically created and they were created in Applications MAMP Library OpenSSL certs. And that's where you're gonna find these um, dummy MAMP uh, SSL certificates. And that's gonna do it for installing WordPress in MAMP 5.